Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is just gonna be a little haul of some of the things that I bought in the past few months that I'm really loving. I know there's lots of other things going on in the world. This is just supposed to be a lighthearted video. So let's get into it. I have stuff from Aritzia, Zara, Essence, and a few hair products and makeup that I really like right now. So first up, the leggings I am loving this quarantine are the Jill Rodriguez, the Benton leggings. So I actually ordered the black ones a while back and I love them so much. Like I've almost worn them out. I wear them almost every day. So I have the black, I have the heather gray, which is really nice. And I also have the blue, which I'm wearing right now. They're actually called Stingray. So I made a dedicated video to Jill Rodriguez. So if you didn't see that video, you can go watch it. I think I have six pieces by her now. I love it. I said in that video, if I had a clothing line, it would totally be this. It's just so my vibe. She used to design for American Apparel. So it's kind of like a luxe basic line. I order my stuff through Essence. You can order through her website directly. I find her website has a better description of how things fit. So if even if you are going to order through Essence, just go to her website first to see um, what size you should take. In my opinion, I'm a size medium in all of her stuff. It fits perfect. It's very stretchy. So if you are between sizes, like probably if you size down or up, it's not going to matter too, too much. But I think you probably could size down just because it does have a lot of give. These are just the perfect high-waisted legging. They are, they're not an athletic legging, so they're not like a Lululemon pant. And they're not super dressy, but they're nice and thick. They're high-waisted. They're great if you're curvy. These are my new favorite leggings. Something else that I like ordering from Essence is just their Nike socks like this. And they look great with those leggings that I just showed. I think I showed this in my favorites video, but these bralettes are just from Aerie. I love them. They are so comfy for lounging or just everyday wear. They look great. They're not really detectable under a tight tee. The last time I checked, they were sold out of every color, every size, but I think they're so popular, they will bring them back. So definitely, definitely get yourself some of these. You know, I know a lot of women, they say, oh, I can't wait to like come home and take my bra off. I'm not like that. I always have to have something on and I like something like this for sleeping. So I call these sleep bras. These are excellent. This is actually though an extra large and it doesn't really look that big. So I would suggest sizing up. Probably like a lot of people, we've all taken up running or walking a lot more. So I ordered from Lululemon. I wanted like a running tight. These are the Speed Up um, full on Luxstream tight. These are the 28 inch ones. Um, so they just look like that. They're pretty, I wanted ones that are like pretty high compression in them. I, act, I don't know why, I sized up to an eight. Usually I get size six. For some reason I thought I owned these before and I thought they fit a little bit too small. I think I should have stuck with a size 6. They're a little bit too big around the waist, but it's okay because it does have that tie inside and in the leg they fit fine. But I would say stick to your normal size if you're interested in this tight. I really like them because they have a little zipper in the back so if you just want to put like a credit card if you need to buy something after your run or if you want to put your house key back there and then they also have the pockets in the side if you want to put your phone as well so I really like this tight it's very comfy and um, I think if I would have got the right size it would do a good job staying up when I move I just have one thing from Zara. So I got these actually probably a couple months ago now. They're just the Ottoman tight or legging, sorry. So it's just like a black ribbed legging with a little slit down there. Um, I got size medium, so they fit true to size. I just wore them for the first time the other day. They are nice. The only thing I will say is the top of them is kind of a little bit flimsy. It's that, you know, it's that elastic that kind of flips around like that. That's the only annoying part, but they were only 30 some dollars Canadian. So really, what can you expect? I never know how to pronounce this. I think it's Luxatane. Luxatane? I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it is the almond hand cream. So I really like the smell of this. It just smells so 
just clean and soft. It almost reminds me of like a baby type lotion, but it really makes your hands nice and silky. So I really like this. I'll link it below. I got a few hair products. Um, so first up, I got some Kevin Murphy shampoo and conditioner and also this rinse that's supposed to make your hair a little less brassy if you have blonde hair. So I saw it in Alex's uh, Learning to be Fearless video. And the first time I used it, it made my hair really soft. I didn't know if I saw that much of a change in the, co in the color, but I did take a before and after picture, which I'll put in here, and it really did help. And that was after only using it once. So it says you're supposed to use it once per week. So I just thought I would treat myself. My hair really needs to be like colored or cut or something right now, but we can't get it done. So that's the reason I treated myself to that. Normally I don't spend that much on hair care. Something I just ordered from Trade Secrets was this, it's called Jamaican Black Castor Oil Peppermint, and it's supposed to promote healthy hair and scalp, revitalizes itchy scalp, moisturizes, and softens cuticles, so you can use this on your skin as well. It just had really good reviews. I will say, it makes your hair so soft, so what I've been doing, say if I'm just, you know, doing work on my computer, I'll massage it into my hair, kind of like a hair mask leave it on for a few hours, or I've even slept with it on. I just put a towel down on my pillow. And then when you wash it out, your hair is so, so soft. It's amazing. The peppermint oil really opens up the, almost the pores in your scalp. I really like it. Um, my boyfriend tried it as well. He really liked it too. His hair is like a little bit coarser, but it was baby soft as well. Same from Trade Secrets. I ordered this little brush. It's just called Brush Strokes. I just found this side. It's really good for like laying your hair flat when you're pulling it back like this. My hair's a little messy right now. I just went for a walk, but it really kind of like lays down all the like little hairs. So this I really like as well. So I ordered one makeup product. I don't really order or wear that much makeup. I just kind of stick to what I know, but I did want to try this just because I have green eyes and this is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's Pillow Talk Eyeliner and it's almost like a burgundy eyeliner. So it's really meant to make your green eyes pop. So you can put it in the waterline. I find though it looks best if you do your upper waterline with that, like just kind of at the end and make almost like a cat eye flick. It looks really pretty. Um, but I didn't do that for this video. To go with the running tights, I got this Nike sports bra. So I just thought it was really cute. It has stars. I'm always a size large in this and I'm like a 34D, 36C um, chest. So I ordered just this Vans, just the classic shoe for summer. I feel like you always need a white pair of shoes and I find they're pretty good if you have wider feet like me. They're pretty comfy. So um, I will say right here in the shoe kind of bothers me when I walk. So I just put that Dr. Scholl's, those sticky things there, and then it solves the problem. And I just think it looks really good with like the leggings that I have on right now too. I put these sunglasses on my Instagram the other day, so you can go follow me over there if you're not already. So these are Tom Ford sunglasses. So I have melasma under my eyes, so it's really important to have a pair of glasses that covers that up just so it's not exposed to sunlight. So this uh, pair I actually tried on at Holt Renfrew. If you don't live in Toronto, it's just a department store here. Holt Renfrew though, they are the biggest, biggest ripoff for sunglasses. They jack the prices up so much. So what I always do, I go in there, try them on, I just take a picture of the serial code and then I find the, um, the same model online for cheaper. So I got these at Smart Buy Glasses. I'm going to link it in the down bar. These would have been $500 at Holtz. And I got them for like a little over 200 Canadian. And they came from Hong Kong. They got here within 48 hours, even during this whole quarantine thing. And what else? Oh yeah, they also refund the duties. So they send you an email after you order. If you do acquire any duties, just send them the receipt of that. They refunded it within a few hours back to my PayPal account. And I shopped through Ebate, so I got cash back as well, another like 7 or $8 um, off. So I just thought they were like the perfect classic black sunglass. They're nice and big. They really block out the light. They don't slide off my face. My nose is kind of, um, doesn't really have a bump or anything. So I find 
sunglasses really slide down and they almost like pinch my nose that I can't breathe but these stay put even though they're quite heavy they're quite substantial I really personally like Tom Ford glasses they fit my face well I have a hard time finding um, glasses that fit so if you're looking for just that perfect pair of black glasses I will link these um, they really m remind me, I used to have a pair of Celine glasses, I actually sold them to someone, I don't know why, because I would probably still like them. They remind me of Celine glasses, but they're only 200 Canadian. Um, and I found a coupon code online that made them a little cheaper, because the purchase price was a bit more than that. But yeah, definitely just a little tip, don't ever pay full pr price for sunglasses, you can usually find them cheaper online. These slippers I wanted to show, they are so comfy. I saw, um, I don't follow her or anything, but I saw Jessica Simpson wearing them in an Instagram photo. They look so cuddly soft. They're just from the brand Moo, M-O-U. And yeah, they're, they fit true to size if you want them. When you first get them, um, this goes for any slipper like this. The fur inside really needs to be smushed down. So when you first get them, it's a little hard to get your foot in. But yeah, they're really comfy and the floors here sometimes get a little bit cold. So that's why I got those. Um, next up, I have four things from Aritzia that I've ordered over the last couple months. So the first is called like a shacket. It's by the group Babaton. It's a size medium. So this is the gradient jacket. I got it in white. They also have it in a yellow. So I just liked how it was styled on the model. She had like a black jumpsuit on. It's just kind of like a perfect white, almost like a dress shirt, but thicker, right? So you could style it a few different ways. So I really liked it. So size medium, so that fits true to size and it's like a true oversize, but not too big, which I liked. Um, I got another one of these I believe these are called the Ortiz crop tee. I'll link it below. So this um, it's just like that perfect stretchy crop top material. I have a black and a gray one in size medium, but I found they were a little too cropped. So I sized up and got the large and I actually prefer how the large fits. I wore this tons over quarantine um, from TNA. I got a boyfriend sweatpants and I got these in neon citrus. So they're a bright orange color. So I got these on sale as well. They're like neon orange. They have little drawstrings down here and um, just a little detail at the pocket. Um, I did, so I find with TNA sweatpants, the medium is fits me in the waist perfect, but a little too tight for my liking in the legs because I have thicker legs. The large is always too big in my waist, but I saw they had the drawstring, so I did size up to a size large. But I would say if you have skinny legs, just stick to your regular size. Um, they're really nice and soft, really comfy. I will warn though, thank God, I washed these by themselves the first time. I have never seen so much ink come out of an item ever. So the dye, sorry, I should say dye rather. So I think it took me four times to wash these alone to get it um, to stop bleeding. And it actually did stain the inside of the washer and the dryer. It wasn't a big deal. I just wiped it out clean. But definitely, if you get these, do not wash them with anything else. My boyfriend said he actually had a sweatshirt the same color before. And the same thing happened. So maybe it's just um, something with like the neon dye to get it that bright fluorescent orange. It has to be like a very potent <laughs> dye. But other than that, I love them. They're super comfy. And then lastly, um, this is the only item I'm not sure if I will keep. I did order it last night. It got here probably within 12 hours though, which I was shocked by. So this is from TNA. This, um, it's called, I think this is the lightweight, the oversized crew light. So I got it in a size two, which is kind of like the equivalent to a medium. So it's just like an oversized white sweatshirt. I was expecting it to be a little bit thicker though. It's a bit see-through and I think for the price, it was $80 plus tax. I think I'm gonna return it. I don't think it's worth that much. If this was like a $40 shirt, I think it would be okay, but I'll show you when it's on. 
Um, I would say this is probably about appropriate size. I think this is one of those things I could fit into size one, two, or three. It just really depends how you want it to fit. But yeah, I just feel like it was a little bit, I just feel like it's quite expensive for what it is. Maybe I'll order the regular, um, the regular crew sweatshirt. Yeah. Here's this shirt from Aritzia. So this is a size two, which is kind of like the medium size. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it, honestly. Like, I feel like if it was maybe half the price that it is, I, I probably would. But I just think it's pretty thin and see-through. And to me, this is just like not really worth $100. Um, I don't know. It's okay. I don't really necessarily love the bottom. It's a little bit, I was expecting it to be a lot longer too. And it's a little bit loose around the bottom too. So it's not like a normal crew neck. So it just kind of flops down. Yeah, it's okay. I also ordered, if you guys are interested, I got like a mini triple barrel curling iron because I couldn't find my original one that I had years ago. Personally, I think I like my original one because it made like wider waves, but this mini one would be really good for travel. I'll show you how my hair looked like um, when I did it. Um, it almost gives like a more crimped effect. I think this would be good though if you had shorter hair. I think it would be easier to use the smaller tool, but yeah, just if you guys are interested in something like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!